What's up guys, Paramoto here. Starting my vlog where my vlogs typically start at, at the gas station. Because I like to drive like a dick. So guys, happy after Thanksgiving day to you. I hope you guys had a good holiday. I hope you got some shopping done today. Because today is that glorious Black Friday with all the deals and stuff. Today I got to run a couple of errands. I only just barely missed the gigantic pothole. That was just sheer luck. I'm looking to get some stuff at Best Buy for the channel. I want to start recording um, videos about uh, different models of motorcycles that I don't necessarily have and do almost like an edited video where uh, you know I highlight different motorcycles for like historical significance and stuff like that and for coolness and whatnot and just talk about different motorcycles and everything. So I don't have a little mic adapter to record voice so I can't do it on my computer with just a microphone. So I need to actually go get something. I have no idea what that something actually is. So hopefully somebody knows something at Best Buy so I can get this done. I'm looking to do videos like highlighting different motorcycles and then also I want to do a video of like history of the Pentagali, you know, like, you know, history of the Pentagali, road to the V4, you know, like how did we get here kind of stuff and like kind of highlight all the cool Ducatis that have been out, you know, in like more recent history, not like all the way back to like the Bologna and the radio factory, but like, you know, maybe back to like the 80s and like do the models progressing up to the P to the V4, you know? I like history of stuff and I like history of motorcycles and stuff I like. So I think that'd be a cool video. I would totally watch it. So I'm going to try to make it. Are you going to go? I can't stand people that are vaginas on the fucking throttle. Like just go. Like if you're going to cut me off, just go. Fuck. I know like Black Friday deals, like people typically try to get out during the mornings and stuff. But like I really thought traffic was going to be way worse than it is right now. Like right now, it's not even bad. It feels like a Monday afternoon or something. It is fucking cold out though, man. I know I shouldn't be bitching. There's people out there that would probably kill to have a 46 degree day to go ride around in right now. And I'm just complaining about it, but it's cold. I live in the South. I am a wuss when it comes to weather now. I don't know why this happened to me, but it did. Ugh, ugh. I'm getting the sniffles because it's cold. Ugh. So I think today is uh, Ride Every Day November episode 10. I think we're on episode 10. If you guys don't know what Ride Every Day in November is, it's where I chose a month to literally ride every single day. I think I'm pretty good. I've actually been spot on with it so far. The only thing that I've had an issue with is riding during uh, the nighttime, like since we had the clocks change, which I didn't really quite think this through. I should, probably should have done like Ride Every Day October. That probably would have been better. It would have been warmer. And also I would have had more opportunities to, to actually record videos because the GoPro does not do anything any justice at night. So like at night, it's just pitch. Like every time I go ride at night, it's literally like a black screen when I go to like look at the video and it's like, I'm not gonna post that. That's garbage. I'm not posting that one bit. Not at all. Oh, it's so cold. I had a good night last night. I had some beers and uh, sat around a campfire out back, out in the back of my house, hung out with a bunch of, bunch of fams and everything. It was cool. It was cool. It was a good time. Made us more. Lit some firecrackers off because I'm that guy. So I light firecrackers off in my neighborhood. And everybody's kind of like a weenie where I live. Like basically everybody, everybody's a weenie. Straight up. But um, so I light firecrackers off. And people start like posting on like the neighborhood Facebook group. Like, have you guys heard those gunshots? <laughs> it doesn't help that the fucking bottle rockets that I have are loud and obnoxious as fuck like the loudest bottle rockets I've ever heard in my life. They go up and they don't whistle when they go up and they're just like BOOM! Which is probably why people think that it's a gunshot. But it's a bunch of weenie people that think it's a gunshot and you know, people that have probably never shot a gun. I go over to the best boob. The best boob and get some stuff from the best boob. This is the shopping center that I typically frequent and I typically almost get hit every fucking time I'm here. So they've literally just like cut Best Buy's parking lot in half. Why would you do such a thing? And now there's no parking. Good job, guys. S somebody brought a U-Haul truck to Best Buy? Gonna buy that much stuff? Oh, I could totally park there. Ugh, I could. Get the fuck out of my way. Dude, I could probably park right back here. And nobody would never hit my bike. Hell to the yeah. Motorcycle win. Okay, one thing about the Pentagali. Heavy transmission, guys. 
Like backing this thing up on your tiptoes is a pain. I love riding motorcycles. It's like, it's all about the little wins, right? Life is all about the little stuff. All right, I'm gonna run into Best Buy. I'll see you guys in a minute. Well, I got a mic to start doing some voiceover videos, so this will be fun. Best Buy wasn't wasn't as crazy as I thought it was gonna be, but I got yelled at. I get yelled at everywhere I go. I'm not really great at following the rules. I ended up walking through this stupid little like roped off area. Lady's like, sir, sir, you can't walk through there. Sir, the only exit is that way, sir. I was like, I'm gonna walk right here. I'm gonna go out the fucking door. I have completed my purchase and I don't really wanna be here anymore. So, you can fuck off. Sir, sir. Uh, one more stop to make. Ooh. Look at his shaft over here. That guy looks like he's about to, to fuck some shit up. What if I just went out this way? Well, you might not be able to take a left there. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't know things. Uh, I can't make a left. So I need to go the other way. Yeah, this is fucked. This is fucked. This is all fucked. Find a fucking dual sport. I just jump right down this curb. But I don't. Nice and slow. Should I see if I can get a knee down in this traffic circle? LOL, JK. Uh, I hope they have what I need here so I don't have to go anywhere else. Realize that like the daily vlog style of video has like officially become like my bread and butter style of video. Like you can't possibly, I mean like I guess eventually you'll end up like covering every topic so you can't do topic videos forever. Like how I started. I started to really enjoy the daily vlogs. Like I really have. You know, it's, it's so raw and so real and I guess that's, you know, one of the biggest reasons why I started this channel is to be as real as possible. Do, doing daily vlogs is has basically helped me meet my goals of being like one of the realest motor vloggers. Ah, uh, slow down a little bit. It's 35 here, not 45. And there's a lot of cops out because it's Black Friday. What do you guys feel about it? Do you like the top of videos more? Or do you like uh, you like the daily vlog style of videos where you just kind of follow me around? I kind of like these because I can just kind of talk to you guys and just like whatever comes up in conversation is whatever comes up. And like, I don't know, I enjoy this. I enjoy this quite a bit. I don't always have to be like, oh, this is why the Ducati Pentagon is worth $16,000. Know, although I do like topic videos, they're so much easier to edit. When you make one of these style of videos, like I'm literally like, I'm killing a battery, like an entire GoPro battery just to make this one video. And I'll probably end up with like three or four 16 minute files to make this video. And like, it takes forever to edit, like forever. You know, like I do a lot of deep cuts. I call them deep cuts where like, you only like keep the only talking points and stuff like, and you cut everything else i know there, there's other people like rebel young 91 who makes more of like a, a straightforward vlog where it's just like you follow him around on a ride and he doesn't really cut anything or at least he didn't used to i don't know what he's gonna do now whenever he starts fucking making videos again start making some videos please i miss you rebel young 91 right here He's still one of my favorite vloggers of all time. And he, he made a couple of videos, like he made like a test video, and then he made an actual vlog style video. And like, I don't know, I just, I wish he would just make regular videos again. Because I really like Rebel Yell. Dude, that got me into riding. I know I've said it before, but man, it's cold. Like in Cleveland, like all the roads are like 25 and 35. So 46 is whatever, you know, whatever when you're in Cleveland, because it's like, you're not gonna go faster than like 35 miles an hour on most roads, so. But here, man, it's cold. 
because like all these roads are 45 so you're going 50 the whole time so you think about doing like highway speeds with cold weather i think tomorrow's supposed to be raining so tomorrow's episode of ride every day november is going to be a lot of me shivering so it's been a little cold the last few days but i'll be honest with you guys monday tuesday and wednesday were like 60 degrees and it was beautiful i was going out everywhere i didn't really make i made a couple videos but i didn't make like a ton of videos i just went out and like no string attached just went and rode and enjoyed myself it was great and i got nobody in the lane with me so the light's not gonna cycle i really need to step up my gear game this summer weight jacket is not helping me at all oh something got the christmas tree got my Christmas tree oh Christmas tree oh Christmas tree it's cold it's cold I'm cold it's cold it's cold I'm cold and I could probably be warmer if I was actually going the speed limit. Alright guys, so I'm right around the corner from my house. I'm going to leave you here. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. I hope you guys had a safe Black Friday shopping day, whatever you guys do. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Deuces.